At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. To you by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990. Offering full spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Welcome back to News 46. In today's Angie's List report, Angie Hicks discussed in insulation and saving energy. Earth Day is right around the corner, and what a better way to celebrate that than making your home more energy efficient. In today's Angie's List report, if you want to cut your home's energy costs, take a look at your attic. When Suzanne Reese moved into this 40-year-old home back in December, she noticed a temperature difference with the top level compared to the basement level. There was a noticeable difference. Our, our previous home was a single story home. And being on a multi-level home, there was a noticeable difference when we walked up the stairs. When we went up to the bedroom floor, um, it was easily a five degree difference and we could really feel it when we were in the bedrooms. So we felt like um, that the attic insulation upstairs may not be adequate. Oftentimes we only think of our attic as an extra place for storage, but it actually plays a key role in making sure your home is comfortable throughout the year. A properly insulated attic can reduce your energy costs by 10 to 20 percent. Well, there's fiberglass and cellulose, so that's basically the two. Fiberglass is um, white and cellulose is gray, but it's denser, so we think cellulose is a little bit tighter, especially on older houses. If you'd like to add or update insulation in your home, you're going to be hiring a, an insulation contractor. Talk to them about what your house needs. They're going to talk to you about the R value that's in your home and what's recommended for your region of the country. R value is the resistance to heating and cooling of loss to whether it's cold or heat, okay? So R is resistance. So the higher the R value, the more resistance to heating and or, you know, hot and cold. Well, your heating and cooling bills drop 10, 15, 20 percent every, you know, R, 5 or 10 you add. So. You know, a new home is a whole lot more efficient than the old ones. But how do you know if you have enough insulation in your attic? Insulation can deteriorate over time, so it's important for you to check it periodically. A good rule of thumb is if when you look in your attic, you can see the floor joists, you don't have enough insulation. Um, our previous home we had built, and so we knew all the ins and outs of it and what had been done. And buying an existing home, you kind of come into it not knowing what the previous folks have had done. And Congress reinstated the Energy Efficiency Home Improvement Tax Credits this year, and eligible homeowners can claim up to $500 in tax credits that had expired at the end of 2011. The credit is eligible for homeowners who have added Energy Star rated home improvement items, including insulation, to their homes last year or plan to do so this year. Those who have not used any energy tax credits in the past would be eligible for the full $500. Homeowners who have used $300 crediting back to around 2006, for example, would still be able to be eligible for $200. Homeowners are advised to contact their accountant to see what qualifies for as energy efficient and whether they're eligible for the credit. This is Ian B. Clark from News 46. Now, Angela Miles brings you today's first business brief. This is the first business break for Monday, April 15th. I'm Angela Miles. It's tax day. As procrastinators rush to file their income taxes, some lawmakers are going public with their returns. President Obama paid $112,000 to Uncle Sam in 2012. Vice President Joe Biden and his wife Jill paid $87,000. Retailers are hoping warmer temps will prop up a spring sales slump. March retail sales fell four-tenths of a percent, the biggest drop in nine months. A cold snap, uncertainty out of Washington, and a weak job market are being blamed. Popular drugstore chain CVS is being investigated for unauthorized prescription refills. Investigations by the LA Times found the chain signed up customers for automatic prescription refills without their consent. CVS claims customers are always asked to be enrolled. That's the First Business Brief. I'm Angela Miles. All right, folks, we'll keep it here because we're going to have your windy weather with, with Ian B. Clark right after these messages.
Join us at the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prump Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Welcome back. New week and new weather. Today, sunny skies, 77 degrees. Winds coming out of the south-southwest at 17, gusts at 27, so pretty strong there. Our pressure, 29.64 rising. UV index at 8. Humidity low at 19%, 6, 10 a.m. sunrise and record high, 97 degrees in 1947. Tonight, we're going to have mostly clear skies, 45 degrees. Winds are still going to stay somewhat strong. West-southwest at 12, gusts at 24. 32% humidity, 7.18 p.m. sunset, record low, 34 degrees in 1939. Now tomorrow it's going to be a bit chillier and we're going to have mostly sunny skies, so a little bit of clouds coming in, but 63 there for your high, low of 40 degrees. So what we're probably going to see is our barometer rating is probably going to fall down a little bit tomorrow. Winds are still going to be somewhat there, coming out of the north at 13, gusts at 21. Humidity 25%. Sunrise just keeps pulling back to 6 a.m., so 6.09 there, and UV index at 8. So looking afterwards, it looks like it's going to be kind of cold this week. Our seasonal average is around like the upper 70s and the mid-50s for your lows, so we're not really going to see that till about Friday, so it's going to be kind of chilly. The American Crown Circus, Circus Osorio, is in town. The show will be held at 7 p.m. tonight and tomorrow night at Petrick Park. The gates open at 6 p.m. Well, that does it for this edition of News 46. I'm Glenn Evers. And I'm Monique Mitchell. And from everyone here at Channel 46, we wish you a great night, and we hope you'll join us tomorrow. Good night. Good night.